Good afternoon. Welcome to Interesting Talks with Footprints Counseling Service. Today's talk is on believing in yourself. I hope that you're well, and I know we're certainly facing a few challenges at the moment, so our self-belief needs to some attention. Do feel free to leave comments on Facebook, Twitter, and on YouTube. For people that have listened before, welcome. And to those that have new, welcome to Interesting Talks for the first time. I'll start this talk with a quote. The man who moves mountains begins by carrying away small stones. We could all do with a little bit more self-belief. Nothing can be done without believing in yourself first. Fact. Very rarely will you get anything done if you don't believe in yourself. There are a lot of factors that will contribute to your success. But the biggest factor that will determine whether you achieve something, significant or not, is self-belief. You've got to believe in yourself. How much of what you will achieve will mostly depend on how much you believe in your abilities. And yet most of us often lack self-belief. During the times when we need them, or we need it the most, rather than having unshakable confidence, we often allow doubts, and our insecurities to easily shake our resolve and make us believe that we're not capable of achieving whatever it was we set out to do. I clearly understand why this is the case. We all do something wrong quite a number of times in our lifespan and this will make us question our own abilities. We know it and we have been told so on numerous occasions. But again, we also do a lot of things right too. And this is a fact that we often overlook or for totally forget about. We all have shortcomings and strengths, but most times on our journey in life, our brain will choose to believe the negative, the shortcomings and the anxiety. And so instead of choosing to believe in our natural ability, to overcome all our obstacles, or at least most of them. And because we have failed or are currently struggling to succeed, people often point out our faults, are constantly reminding us of your failures. Couple all that with jealousy, it will be very hard for you to find somebody who generally believes in you, especially if you do not have a public record of success. It's no wonder why most of us are lacking in self-belief. But, as stated earlier, if you want to achieve anything worthwhile, anything worthwhile, you have to believe in yourself first, before anybody else ever does. And you have to do it more than anybody else ever will. A lack of belief in yourself will limit you no matter how great your ideas are, all the opportunities that you have are exposed to. Fortunately for us, believing in yourself is a skill that can be learned by anybody, as far as I'm concerned. The only catch is it takes time. Here are a few other reasons why you should believe in yourself first. It is the first step to success. The very first step to your success. How else will you take the first step towards your goals if you don't even believe you will do it? The biggest and most important question that you will ever need to answer at the beginning of your journey is mostly about yourself, your own personal self-belief. Am I capable of achieving this? Can I really do it? Can my idea really work? Once you believe that you can do it, you'll find a way to make it work. You'll navigate through all of the problems and get up when you fail. That's the key thing, being able to get up when you fail. Never give up. No idea will work for every person on the planet. But many ideas can work for most people. If you believe that you can make it work, there's a good chance it will. You have to be willing not to just think differently, but also experiment with new ideas and trust that you'll discover a way to make them work. Believing in yourself is the first step to success. 
If you don't believe in yourself, no one else ever will. It's just that simple. Just really think about that. Would someone ever hire an individual who can't even believe he or she is capable of doing the work? Or someone who has no confidence in their own abilities? Let's say you had a business idea. Would investors ever invest in your idea if you don't even believe it will work yourself? I mean, it just won't happen. The answer is no. They most likely will not. Simple as that. The third thing is to, is to absolutely believe in your concept. It's going to succeed. That you're going to succeed. Otherwise, no one else will trust you or believe in you. You'll keep going through failure. And we've all been there. Steve Jobs has been there. Martin Luther King was there. Michael Jordan was there. Elon Musk was there. Uh, these are just a few highly successful individuals who have accounted public failure on a large scale, yet they kept going until they achieved what they were trying to do. They were only able to keep going to achieve their success because of the level of self-belief that they had in themselves, despite the enormous amount of failures that they experienced for years leading up to their big breakthroughs. And people will say that they were lucky. Well, you know, you have to put the work in first. Their belief is what created a vision so big that they didn't care how many times they failed at something, they knew that eventually they were going to get where they wanted to go. And that is what will happen to you. Believing in yourself does not mean you won't fail. You will. But you'll get up again and again. And if you don't, you will stay down. And that's not what I want for anybody who's listening to this video at all. You will develop a positive attitude and ignore the negativity. Once you develop self-belief, you will realise the only thing that now separates you from your goal and your destination is time and hard work. Self-doubt will make you envision the worst case scenario. Believing in yourself will make you see the best outcome and work towards it. It's hard to put a man or woman who believes in themselves down because they know they can do it. It would be a waste of your time even trying to tell them that they can't. They have no time for negativity. And that's how I'd like you to be. You will expand your knowledge One of the most fundamental beliefs of this life is that you can become better. You can do generally believe that you can become better. You will become better. The more you believe that you can become do better, the more you try to expand your horizon and push yourself to actually become better. If you believe you can learn even more the most complex facts about life, you will gain knowledge an acquired experience that will make you a better person. Gaining knowledge is a part of making progress in life. If you don't believe that is possible to make new things work or learn new things, then it's hard to make any form of progress. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Self-belief is the beginning of your journey. You won't really achieve anything significant if you don't. You need to find a reason why you should believe in yourself. The big one that I always push to everyone around me is that you're going to die one day. The amount of time you have is limited. Why waste it by doing or doubting your abilities and limiting yourself to mediocrity? Always remember that nothing will work if you don't believe in yourself. Thank you for listening to this talk. I hope that you've found it useful. Do share with people that you think might find it useful. Do leave comments, I will reply. Others may learn from your comments. Until next week, take care of yourself. Try and stay positive. Practice believing in yourself and see where it takes you. Bye for now.